project that I incorporated into my course uses wiki education. And what I had students do is to create a, uh, a Wikipedia biography of a female economist. And they got to choose, they could do anyone that they wanted, but they had to learn how to create the wiki page and how to edit it and go through all of those ropes. Plus they had to read the person's research and, and learn something about them. I wanted to incorporate it because I think that it's actually really good for students to do something that actively contributes to the world that we live in. You know, they get a chance to write something that other people read, not just their professor. Um, and at the same time, they get a bunch of technical skills that they wouldn't otherwise get. And I think that that's actually very useful for the students to be able to do these things. Um, but at the end of the day, I know that it's an effective project because one, um, the students put way more work into it than they would if I just gave them a paper. And not necessarily time, but they put real heart into the project. Um, and uh, they always come back at the end of the term and tell me how rewarding it was and, and how nice it was for them to have some do something that was as meaningful as this. Wikipedia exists in multiple languages uh, and you could actually, if you wanted to, for example, allow Chinese students to edit the Chinese Wikipedia page. I have done this before, um, particularly in a case where a student wanted to create a bio of a, a woman where the, the page actually already existed on the English language page, but it was terrible. Um, I don't allow them to edit. They have to create a new page that would be up to the instructor to decide. Um, but so what she did in Wikipedia actually is the one who suggested it, saying she said, you know, this woman is a Chinese economist and she has no bio on the Chinese Wikipedia. Why doesn't the student just do that? And so I had, she, she did that. She gave me a translation of her work, which took her like 40 minutes to do. <laughs> and, um, and then, and that was fine. It includes things like, you know, a, a workshop on plagiarism and properly citing, um, giving students the technical skills, um, and, and they're very specific to each project. So I did biographies. Um, they have a specific course for biographies, but people who are doing other courses can, um, would have totally different uh, workshops. And, and the Wiki Education people um, work with you to set them up. that you could always do them in pairs or groups of three. Another thing too that you can do with a Wikipedia page um, is that you can have them peer evaluate each other's pages. And I think that this the Wikipedia project is a perfect way to use peer evaluation. Um, and so the it's not really constrained by a large classroom um, and it was worth a significant portion of the students' grades. Um, and so I don't require everybody to do it. I give students an option. So one of the things that you would have to do with an online course, I think, is to come up with an alternative project that students can do um, if they don't want to do the Wikipedia page because, you know, it's not for everybody because it actually involves some level of, of uh, programming. Not complicated and totally learnable, but of course some students will find it overwhelming. And so I think that's the real obstacle is that this can't be the only project in the course. Um, it has to be part of, I, there, I really feel that there has to be options available. I think that the one thing that I think that would be really useful is to make sure that both yourself and your TA, if you have one, takes the full Wikipedia course before the students take it. I mean, there's a lot of support and so you can actually just lean on Wikipedia and let them deal with any issues. Um, but really it's it's good for you to know what the, the students are working through and it's good for your TA to learn that as well. Um, so that if students need help, they can, they can come to you.